So hello everybody, here's Joachim from Klippe. Together with our partners from ST, we are showing some loudspeaker control together with the FDA 901 amplifier on the CS2020. So here we have an automotive loudspeaker in a quite small enclosure driven by the FDA. And if we do no processing to this loudspeaker, you don't have much bass. So one thing you would do on in an application, you would enhance the low frequency by some equalizer. Here you see the measure transfer function with a microphone and we enhance the bass region to get more out at low frequencies. But if you're doing that and you're playing at too high level, then the loudspeaker will sound distorted. You can clearly hear it's crying for help. So we can help him with some compensation algorithm. It's inside an ST microcontroller running in the system and like that you can have bass at good sound quality also with this loudspeaker in a small enclosure. So how does it work? The FDA 901 has a current sensing feature which helps the algorithm to understand what the loudspeaker is doing. Here you see some live diagnostics from the, from the DSP which shows the displacement of the loudspeaker. And actually a loudspeaker is a nonlinear system. So here you see the dependency of the force inside the loudspeaker depending on the displacement, on the movement. And if it's moving a lot, the force decays. So you would usually not apply a loudspeaker up to those regions, up to 5 millimeters. But if you know about the loudspeaker, you can apply some distortion compensation and reduce the distortion again by signal processing. And for that, it's really helpful to get a current signal from the FDA to know about the current state of the loudspeaker. Maybe I can show you what happens if we open the rear of that loudspeaker enclosure and watch uh, this chart it's showing the resonance frequency of the system so now the box is open and the loudspeaker is much softer it doesn't have so much stiffness and we learn that directly from the current that the loudspeaker has a lower resonance frequency and like that we can apply the correct signal processing to the system again and you see we can keep the displacement all the time the same. So as you can see, the current sensing capabilities of the FDA gives a perfect match together with KCS software processing from Klippe to get a good sound out of a small loudspeaker. If you want to learn more about that, please visit ST website or Klippe.de. Thanks a lot for your attention.